So back in 2006, a Leesburg mom told police her toddler had been kidnapped from his bedroom. Nearly two decades later, Trenton Duckett is still missing. In a four-part video series now streaming on YouTube, News 6 Plus, and ClickOrlando.com investigator Mike DeForest takes us inside the search for Trenton Duckett. Yeah, he is here now to tell us more about that. And Mike, you have covered Trenton Duckett's disappearance from the very beginning. Why are you revisiting this case right now? I, I think the simple answer, Lisa, is Trenton Duckett's never been found and, and the mystery of his disappearance remains unsolved. Now, while many believe that Trenton may be dead, some, including his father, hold out hope that Trenton might still be alive. The police department's missing child case remains open and every few years an organization publishes an updated age-enhanced photo of Trenton in in case someone might recognize him. Hello. Hi. What is Trenton wearing, honey? I don't know. He was ready for bed. A young mother reports an unimaginable crime, the kidnapping of her son, two-year-old Trenton Duckett. Someone cut through this window screen and opened a bedroom window where the toddler had been sleeping. Now he was gone. You don't know what you dressed him in before you went to bed? Um, he might have had his shoes off. That chilling phone call was made from this very apartment back in 2006. Nearly two decades later, people in this community are still asking, where's Trenton? He's never been found. This is what Trenton Duckett looked like when he vanished. And this is what Trenton Duckett might look like today as a young adult. Some people, including his family, are still holding out hope that he could be alive. And there's not a day that goes by that we don't think about him. I recently caught up with Trenton's father, Josh Duckett. You think people are still holding back information? I definitely think there's there's people out there that have information that's not sane. You know, and no matter what the outcome, we want answers. 17 days into the search for Trenton Duckett and fatigue is starting to set in. I've been covering Trenton Duckett's disappearance since the very beginning. Digging through some of my old case files and reviewing hours of video footage stored on beta tapes, we're taking a new look at the missing child investigation. I can't even start to begin to imagine what kind of person would do something like that to begin with. Melinda Duckett, Trenton's mother and Josh's estranged wife, told authorities their son had been abducted from her apartment. But very quickly, police suspected Melinda knew more than she was saying. I'm sure you know, I mean, a lot of people are questioning whether you had something to do with this. Oh, I understand that. I, I, I do. Melinda denied hurting Trenton. Could you harm your own child? No. No, 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 no. Where were you? Why aren't you telling us where you were that day with the last person to be seen with him? The day after she was questioned by CNN talk show host Nancy Grace, Melinda Duckett committed suicide. She was the only suspect, and a lot of answers went with her. In the nearly two decades since then, no evidence has emerged indicating Trenton is still alive, but there is also no evidence he's dead. There's nothing to indicate any sign of trauma has occurred, so nothing of that nature. That gives Trenton's father hope that Melinda may have given their son away to another family. Until they can show me something else, there's nothing else to go on other than he's out there somewhere and we have to continue to push the effort to try and find him. We have just posted a four-part video series that takes an even more in-depth look at the Trenton Duckett investigation. Where's Trenton can be found on YouTube, News 6 Plus, and ClickOrlando.com. And I just got to tell you, we will be explaining how a fast food worker turned this case upside down at one point. We'll show you why investigators had some questions about some adult videos. Detectives even made a trip to Florida's death row. This missing child investigation has certainly taken mm -hmm. a lot of unexpected twists and turns over the years. Nobody better to visit than you. Mike DeForest, thank you so much.